<laughs> okay, so here we go. It's the torture test today. Those three products right there. We got Synergy by Vonix, Titan by Phoenix EOD, High Octane by Mirror Finish Polishes. These are what the bottles look like all the way around. Not that that matters. I'm gonna beat it up. And today, in between passes of products, we're gonna be using um, Phoenix EOD Apex Auto Wash. Everybody used to tell me when I'd make torture tests, Doug, you gotta use Car Pro Reset. Nope, don't think so. This is uh, my reset right here. This is what we're gonna do. Chemex Heavy Duty. Their uh, APC degreaser, truck wash, whatever. This is mixed 20 to one in here. This, DIY detail all clean, I know. That is not the all clean bottle, that is all clean, trust me. This, the Kraken, seven to one. So, 20 to one, 15 to one, seven to one. Then over here, you're gonna have wash chems in this. Yes, it says heavy duty, it's just a sticker. This is wash chems mixed five to one. Uh, pH, oh, how did I do this? <laughs> I think this is a 13, uh, all clean. Actually, I'm not sure about that one. This is only a nine and a half. Impressive at nine and a half. Wash Kim's is 12 or 12 and a half. So all pretty heavy cleaners, but the dilution is gonna get heavier each pass. But we're gonna start off with a simple wash. Use my drying aid. Cause I have had this drying aid. Formula four spray wax by Superior Products. Effect waxes and sealants, I have, okay? Get a lot of hate for that, but I have seen it affected a little bit. So we're just gonna just start with that. I don't know if I should do that first, but that's what we're gonna do. Apex Auto Wash. Bear with me too here as I <laughs> try to get down here and not get all wet and bubbly and sudsy. Let's go. That was actually a waste of a lot of soap. You can get away with about an ounce in, in five gallons, no problem. Trust me, I've done it with a thimble. So that was about an, that was probably half ounce, ounce. That was a waste. <laughs> All right, white paint sucks for torture tests, but let's just start off with the basic washing of the hood and then hit it with, you know, maybe it'd be better from the front, I don't know. And I'll bring you guys in. Let's see what kind of water behavior we have just from jump. This product, uh, these three products were put on two weeks ago today. And it has rained and this truck has set out in the element the whole time. So, and just as a side note, I wanna say, uh, a day, day and a half after I had put this stuff on, when I drove this truck, the raindrops right here just sheeted straight off the truck, the Vonix. Took off at about 10 miles an hour. Then as I gained speed, and it peeled off like a like you're, you're turning a book page. I mean, it was funny. I laughed. Then the Titan started running off the hood, and then the mirror finish ran off the hood. And it happened just like that. So I have no no footage of that. I would love for you guys to have seen that. Um, so the Vonix gives great water behavior. Uh, you can blow dry a car with uh, no issue. Let's go ahead and wash it up real quick. This whole side right here is Vonix, it's Energy. This section here, uh, Phoenix EOD Titan, which is a detail spray. Keep that in mind, guys. This is mirror finish, uh, high octane. This is a paint sealant. Vonix, a paint sealant. This is a detail spray. So if this detail spray even makes it past a couple of rounds, I'll be impressed. Now, Titan definitely has uh, great gloss and slickness. If you haven't used it, I would give it a shot. All right. I gotta figure out where to hook this. I'm gonna hook this on my paint. Yeah, cringe, because I'm cringing. I just don't want to keep bending down right there. All right. Let's see if we can see any of that water behavior right now. Kind of weird. It's kind of ironic, actually. The only one really beating at the moment is Vonix. That's awkward. This is developing some beads. 
and the MFP right here. That is tripping me out. I've never had that happen. It's sheeting. It's not really even beating. Huh. May have to go back for a third test on that mirror finish. This is my second go at it. Anyway. <sighs> Let's dry that panel. Let's do it. I'm going to make you guys cringe a lot today. But that's what I do. I make you cringe a lot. I'm using an, an absorber. Because I don't want to break out like 10 towels and then have to do a load of laundry just for a torture test. You know what I mean? Feel me? You feel me? All right. Yeah, it's kind of a sloppy way to do it, but that's how we're doing it today. All right, let's start off with Chemex Heavy Duty 20 to 1. Here we go. Oh, no. No, no, no. I'm slipping. I apologize. Whoa. Let's re wet that. We were going to use a drying aid on it first, huh? See what that did. Let's see what that does. Yeah. Let's see what that does. Here we go. I just lightly missed it over. Sit. Let it sit a minute. Rinse dry. Sit. Now. Now, let's dry that panel. Here we go. So just with the drying aid, everything livened up a little bit. These beads are tighter. Let's look at it. This is Vonix. Tight and high octane. All right. Let's dry that then and start with the beating them up, all right? Now we're gonna go with the Chemex Heavy Duty 20 to 1. Let's slather it and let it go a minute. So that drying aid didn't really affect it too much. Seemed to make those two over there beat up a little more. And these beads here to get a little tighter. I don't know what that translates to, but it didn't kill any products. That's a good sign. All right, let's massage that in, rinse it, and then wash it. See where we're at. Wow, I realized this is probably got some residue left behind film of, of the cleaner. So this one, they all took a hit just off the, straight out of the gate. These beads are separated a little farther out, a little flat in some spots bigger. Tight and sheeted, pretty good. Uh, still got some beading going on in here. And then mirror finish right here. And and don't, don't worry, I'm going to reset the panel. This is flat, man. There's minor beading up here, so... Man, I'm really shocked at that. Extremely shocked at that. Let's go ahead and reset that panel, though. The 
a pH neutral soap. This is Apex Auto Wash. pH neutral, yeah? Yeah. See what happens here on the rinse. Flooding the panel. Wow. So, just telling you what I see. Just gonna give it to you straight. So the Phoenix sheeted that water and starting to beat up. Horrible, I know, white paint is horrible. Doug, why'd you do this to us? There's still some beating and sheeting. Tighter beads out here. So it definitely took a hit. Titan sheeted off rather quickly. Actually has the most amount of beads, I'd say per square foot. Shockingly, mirror finish is still sheeting. It's still dragging water off. So it's still present, but this took a massive hit. Uh, we have some beads up here though. So man, I am blown away at that. So just at first impression, honest to God, looks like Titan. <laughs> a detail spray, what the hell? That's like I'm like jaw dropped right now. Wow, okay. Now I'm gonna use the DIY detail. So it's 15 to one right here. Very light dilution. This product, and it's not the interior cleaner. It is their all clean, the blue product. Has the best dilution ratios outside of Chem X's heavy duty that I've seen on the market. And then, so I would go Chem X, can dilute that like 100 to one for a soap, 20 to one for interiors, 10 to one for tires and wheels. Uh, 30, 40, 50 to 1 for seats and upholstery. This one is very similar to that. 15 to 1 for exteriors. Pretty amazing. I've used uh, Chemex Heavy Duty at 20 to 1 for tires and wheels. So this is super comparable to it. Let's see what it does to these products here. Let that dwell a minute. Rinse my wash rag. We may not have to go five rounds, guys. This isn't looking like we're gonna have a real long test. By the time we get to the Kraken over here at seven to one, these products may be gone. All right, that's good. Let's rub that in and rinse. And then we'll reset the panel. Come on. Rinsing, rinsing, rinsing. Go. All right, yet again, everything here is pretty flat, but everything is still sheeting. Everything is sheeting, coarse residue. I realize that. I hear, I hear that. I don't know the science behind it. You've got Vonix beating back up, which is funny. You've got Titan sheeting and beating. And mirror finish, they're still hanging in here. It's still there. It's still sheeting the water, though. So this product right here is probably taking the biggest hit if by watching these other professional guys do these tests. If that slow sheeting is indicative versus the beating. And I'd have to say the mirror finish is taking the most brutal hit at this point. <clears throat> but they're all still there. And nobody washes with degreaser anyway. This is really just to see what they're all about for me. Titan impressed me so much I wanted to try it. And then Vonix, that Synergy, it's a new sealant. Actually looks great on the paint. I wanted to try that. And mirror finish, I've heard uh, like, I tested that before and it went flat on me a little bit. 
So then Gino told me, hey dude, when you're putting it on, you gotta lay it on the whole panel like bead maker. You gotta just put it on there, massage it in, and then buff it off. So that was my bad. First go around I installed, I installed. I put it on wrong. I just misted it on like one or two shots per panel and rubbed it in. My fault, I didn't use enough. So keep that in mind, sometimes the application is the difference in you liking a product or hating a product. And then if you ever have a problem with a product, reach out to the manufacturer or the supplier. Cause like that, I didn't know that trick and it helps me, right? Instead of just getting mad at the product, well, I'm not gonna use that. Just reach out to the person you bought it from. As we're getting more aggressive too, I'm going to dry in between this test and cracking. I'm going to put this uh, cleaner on a dry panel. And I know you guys can't see this. Everything right now is slow sheeting. Lonix is beating right now. Slow sheeting though. Um, Titan. Few beads sheeting, pretty much sheeted off. And then you've got uh, mirror finish high octane. Still got water right here sheeting off. So it's still there but it's taken a minute to come off. It's still there though, it's hanging tight. So I'm gonna dry this panel. Let's get the cracking at it and see what happens. Cracking, by the way, it's only a nine and a half on the PA scale. Relatively gentle for a degreaser, all-purpose cleaner. Um, but Aaron told me that he and Brian talked about it right and they, they wanted to kinda make it more gentle on coatings if people use it on a coated car. That's cool. I don't know what pH would affect that. I use my touchless wash systems on it, on, on coatings and pH of, I think it's three, step one, and then you layer it with a pH of 13, I believe it is, and uh, my coatings are fine. So I don't know how that translates with these cleaners, but I thought that was pretty cool of them to make it mild. Maybe you could use it as a pre-wash on your coated car. So that's cool. All right, here's what we're definitely gonna do though. We're definitely getting after this with the cracking right now. That's what's gonna happen. A little bit stronger. This is seven to one now. Okay. Uh, at seven to one, I did a touchless wash on my tires and wheels. Did a great job. So this product, I'm gonna do more testing with this one and the all clean, put them side by side and do a lot more with them. Um, anyway, let's get to cracking. Can't see any of these products really fighting off the soap or the cleaner, which I don't know if that's a big deal, but I don't really see any action there on the panel. Rub them in. Let's see. Okay, so right here, what I can see, you guys cannot see. The only one really defending it off that quick is the uh, Synergy by Bonix. The Kraken is hanging in there. It's already starting to sheet right now. Uh, the mirror finish looks like it might start sheeting a little bit. It's trying to peel that water off. Again, there's residue here. We'll go back, 
reset this panel. I think we're done after this. I don't think we have to prove any further. I think you've seen enough and you can judge for yourself. So high octane at the moment is sheeting up here. Right here is still flat with water. We still have water on this panel. It's sheeting here though. It's trying to do it. Titan, still sheeting here, but it has sheeted all this off and it's beginning to bead up here. And then uh, Vonix, man, it's done. It's sheeted off a lot and began to bead. So there's still a lot of water left on the very outside of that side of my hood. So without saying anything about the product, you know what it is, you know where it's at. You guys can judge for yourself. I'm not the judge. I'm just the guy out here having fun. Or y'all. Let's dry it. Now the next product I'm going to use is uh, Wash Kim's Pro 50. They're heavier soap, they're more concentrated soap. It's a little heavier, I believe, than the Pro 100. This is a mix five to one. We'll see what it does. I don't know that we need it right now. We've seen enough, I'm sure. Let me pump this bad boy up, the sprayer. See what we can do. Well, that hood of mine's looking pretty clean though, I'll tell you that. I didn't pump enough but this will still do the trick I'm sure of that let that dwell about a minute if we can and we can talk a little bit both Steidman yeah yeah, all right. Let's have some Bull Steidman moments here. Let's talk just for a minute. So I have a code for two of these products. I'll have to ask Aaron. Uh, he gave me a code a while back. I don't know if that's still usable on his site, but I will put the websites, the products I'm using in the description. The Formula 4 drying aid you can get at O'Reilly. Uh, I don't know if you can buy directly from Superior. I don't really know that. I think I get it on Amazon. Mirror Finish. They're in Selma, California. If you're in the Central Valley, you can walk in or order online. I'll leave all this stuff. There's really only one product here that I have a code for. DIY, I have no code for. You guys know DIY. They do enough marketing. They do a great job there. But if anybody watching this, I don't have a code for, would like to give me a code to put in my description, I'll gladly do it. So... Let's see what this wash kims does. It's not a pressure washer. It's probably best to use a pressure washer. Rinse bottom up, but we're just gonna rinse it like regular soap. See what it looks like. No touch here, we're just gonna rinse it. is sheeting. Titan has begun to sheet up here. It's about down to a halfway mark. Vonix has very little puddling or flooding uh, right here. There's some beading through here. Uh, still a little bit of water here. Titan's about 50% sheeted right now. Mirror finish is about 20%. Still a lot of uh, flat water here. A little bit of sheeting and beads here. Nothing here. Titan, nothing here. Vonix, nothing here. Let's reset it.
All right, guys, from back here. Bonix is sheeting and beginning to beat a little bit. Hard to see on white, I apologize. Moving over, the Titan's coming through a little bit. And high octane is still there. It's beginning to sheet at the top of the panel right there, the midsection where I uh, started the application. So they're all still there, guys. But let me bring you down here real quick and see what I can do. See if you can see any of that. The mirror finish is sheeting up there and beating. Really no activity right here. Titan's flat here, but it's beating up there. It's sheeted half of it. And the Vonix, man, still looks good. Is it the strongest? No. The strongest in this test? Yes. Got some sheeting and beating there. So, hey, Sean. Not much, man. So there you have it. Hard to see on white, but I brought you guys in to show you the best that I can. Um, the three products in this were Vonix Synergy, Phoenix EOD Titan, and Mirror Finish High Octane. Torture tests don't really mean anything, guys. Use the product you like. I'm not trying to beat anybody up, but a lot of guys like the torture tests. I used to get beat up all the time. You're not using the right soap in between. I've done all kinds of testing with products. Prepped panels, polished panels, stripped panels. I've done it all. Unprepped versus prepped. Honest to God, guys, very little difference. I know the detailing world, here is such a hack. Yeah, whatever, yeah, whatever. But at the end of the day, I know what my eyes saw and some of my unprepped uh, panels that I did versus a prepped and polished panel outlasted the prepped and polished panel. Tell me how that happens. So anyway, make up your own mind. Like this uh, video, share this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Rumble. One, to detail it, to detail it on Instagram, to detail it on Twitter. Uh, I need some more love, though, guys. i got to make a little bit of money on these videos, and I make nothing right now. Um, so buy some of these products. I have a link for only one right now. Hopefully, these other people will give me a link, and I can make a buck or two every sale. Um, because, honestly, just this last 10 days, I've probably dropped... 150 bucks on products, lining up stuff for videos in the future. I pay for that. Nobody pays for that. Um, did I have any products sent for free? Let me see. To be honest with you, anything in this video free? I think the high octane was free. I think Gino gave me that last year. Uh, Vonix gave me the Synergy. And I think the Apex Soap, when I first asked Aaron to try his products, he sent me that for free. Nothing else was free, guys. So... Uh, Kim X, I love that stuff. I am affiliated there. 10 cents on the dollar. If you buy $10, I make a buck. So it does help the channel. I do not pay bills with that. I try to restock stuff. Look here. Just sharing. See this cabinet? That's products lining up for review. Four products in here. Four products in here. Oh, wait. Three in here. Four in here. You just saw this. I bought that with my own money. They didn't send it to me. I don't think I'm quite their flavor. They're not haters, but I don't think I'm their flavor. This is coming up. This was sent to me, but this has nothing to do with this video. This is a competitor's two-step touchless wash. It's Renegade products. That's coming up soon. As soon as I can muster uh, moving around with my uh, uh, pressure washers, setting all of it up, two foam cannons at a time. I've got this. This was sent to me for free. It has nothing to do with the channel, though. I mean, nothing to do with this video per se. So all this stuff here, this, 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 out of pocket. I got a little bit of a discount on the first box. Okay. I'm not, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying just to show you and be transparent with you guys, a couple hundred bucks in products this last week or two. So get down into my description section, click on that Chem X product. There's something there for you. Try a chemical, uh, one bottle. I challenge you. I, I personally, I don't think anything can beat their heavy duty. Uh, but we're going to find out next week. I got one more cleaner APC coming. They're sending me that one for free because I'm going to put it in a four-way test. Uh, it's going to be Chem X Heavy Duty versus Crack the Kraken versus All Clean by DIY versus Tough Shines Tire Cleaner. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned for next week. Other than that, guys, give me some love. Give me some support. Buy something. Help me. Turtle Wax. If you're watching this, I doubt it.
Thank you for the banner. Love it. Take care, guys. Hey, Aaron. Love that banner too, buddy.